Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. This video will discuss recording file management for Echometer Touch 2 when using an Android device. Open Echometer and from the side panel choose Recordings. This window displays all the Echometer recording files that are currently stored in the tablet or smartphone. Tap the Edit button at the top right to display the selection checkboxes. Select one or more recordings. You can share up to 20 megabytes of files in a single message. Tap the Share button and select Mail. You can now share your Echometer recordings. Shared recordings can be imported into Echometer. Open email and download the attached recording file. Go to the Downloads folder and click on the recording. The recording will be imported into the Echometer app. Imported files have a white session color code in the recordings list. Recordings can be transferred via Wi-Fi. Tap the Edit button and select one or more recordings. Tap the Share button and select Wi-Fi to compress all the recordings into one or more zip files. Each zip file can be up to one gigabyte in size. A window displaying a URL with an IP address appears. Open a web browser on any computer or device which is on the same wireless network. Type the URL address exactly as shown into the web browser. A page opens with links to download the recordings. Recordings can also be transferred between Echometer and a Mac or PC via USB connection. The device will appear in the Windows File Manager. Navigate to the Echometer folder and then the Recordings folder. Copy and paste your recordings from the Android device to the PC. To upload recordings or entire sessions, copy into the Import folder. When Echometer is launched, it will import the recordings. For Android devices connected to a Mac, download and install the free third-party program Android File Transfer. Navigate to the Echometer folder and then the Recordings folder. Drag the recordings from the Android device to the Mac. To upload recordings or entire sessions, drag into the Import folder. When Echometer is launched, it will import the recordings. There are many available apps for automatic backup of an Android device. Be aware that recordings will not be backed up via Google Data Backup. Lastly, on Android, recordings are not stored within the Echometer app, so deleting the app will not delete the recordings. If recording files are deleted from the device when the Echometer app is not running, this can then result in error messages. If you get an error message when trying to import a new recording or display an existing recording, go to the Information screen and press the Clean Recording Database button. Echometer will rescan the actual recording files on the device and then update its recordings list.